And firstly, first off, I want to I want to say something. Never have been I I. It's been a while since I've been super hyped. Yeah, mostly because it was I was getting bored, and new content was coming out, and I'm always looking up. I was to the point where we needed new, we were at the point where we needed new content. Now we actually have a lot of new content that is cool because guess what, Bungie has listened to us finally. So we got a sneak peek of some exotics that are returning to the, that are coming to the game. Uh, over that in this video we're gonna be going over some uh just some information uh, and what i personally am super excited for so first off i'm gonna get the game of crucible because this is live commentary as you can see let's go left and let's go right okay this man a lot of ex no the one thing a lot of people aren't super excited about uh, is the return of some old exotics because there are quite a few exotics that are returning that are old but yeah anyways uh first off i want to say i did not expect this to be about the hive uh, a lot of people i know thought this was going to be about the frames that was leaked but i mean uh, a lot of people said it was fake and it turns out they were right unless they have not shown that yet because this is the uh this is the Bray family, and Anna Bray is confirmed. Uh, they have the prologue uh, to the story, and it looks really cool. And you can you can see the outline of the boss, or at least what might be the boss. And oh my gosh, like I think that those are. It looks like they're nanites, or something's coming off of it. Uh, and it, especially you don't know Siva. Uh, I don't know what it, what it, Siva actually stands for, but I I refer to it as slow finishing viral aesthetic tech. Um. Basically, it, it's a uh, uh, defense mechanism Rasputin created. And speaking of Rasputin, this isn't Charlemagne, I don't think. I think we're actually dealing with Rasputin. And the, the um, snowcaps... Okay, so basically, what's going on? Uh, the snowcaps of Mars... Are being melted because Rasputin is draw and because okay Rasputin is awoken, or he's become more active. He's dropping war sats everywhere, and something that he's done has started warming the um the uh, polarized caps of Mars, and they have gotten to the point where it is revealed. Bray, you know, uh, laboratory. And went because you know, that's being unthawed, so are the hive, and that's why you have unhollowed hive, and then you have dread unhollowed hive, which are the uh, the gold bar enemies. But we have a, uh, about three three fan favorites that we know for sure are coming back. Uh, that is the Suros regime. I, I loved, I loved it. Uh, it has a, it has a. I'm not, I, I can't put the images on screen. I could, but um, I might tinker around with it a little bit to see if I can put the images on screen. But as of right now, um, I don't want to really go that far into editing. Well, plus I'm just lazy. Uh, but I do want to change the future. But um, if you want these images, uh, just search up the Destiny 2 Warmind uh, exotics, and you will see the list. Uh, but let's go through them. Uh, we have the Worm Husk Crown for the Hunter. We have the Worm God Caress. And the Oculus Zol. Now, Zol was uh, one of the Worm Deities, I believe. Clash. Oh, I've heard Zol before. Chasm of Yule. Boots of Zol, I think. Ah, uh, the King's Fall. <laughs> Time for battle. I believe that's the King's Fall. Uh, boots. Arrow boots of Zol. I don't know. I, I would know if I went look on my uh, old character, on my old warlock. <clears throat> but we have the Oculus Zol. Right now, uh, we've got Caress, which I believe is actually the. Um, yeah, I'm so bad. Uh, I, I think it's Titan Gauntlets. Yep. 
Uh, we have the Huckleberry, which is a submachine gun, which is uh, founded by Tex Mechanica. Uh, we have Shrush Regime. Sealed M Car Grabs, Grasps, which is a returning exotic. Investing one. Uh, the Sanguine Alchemy. Alright, uh, Warlock Robes, which are definitely looking super cool. I uh, got that red tinge to him. I'm so dead. <clears throat> the Ophelia Spathe, which uh, I don't. It has this name, so it has some relation to the Ophidian aspect. But it's um, it's for it's a hundred chest. We have the frost. We have the frosties. Uh, a rise of iron exotic. No, 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 no. A Titan Helmet, which came out. Oh, what was it? Was it Crow Designed or was it Dark Glow? It was one of the two. I'm just gonna chase, and I'm dead because this guy spawned it. Oh, we have the Close of Adam Carter. Uh, uh, again, some more. Uh, Destiny 1 Exotics. We have the Ashen Wake, the Armamentarium, which. I wonder, I think, I, I believe it'll have the uh, Grenadier for, not Grenadier, whatever it was, where you get two grenades. I'm not really sure how that's going to work, though, because Titans already have two close grenades. Uh, it looks like. Oh, dude, he's gliding. This aim is bad, so. This guy's just dumb. Oh gosh. And maybe the Apotheos is Veil, the Taken King. A Taken King exotic. Um, PS. Okay, uh, I want to talk about some exclusives. That's all the exotics we know about, by the way. Uh, at the moment, there may be some that are missing. List? So some are missing? I don't know. <laughs> now we also have, uh, some PS4 exclusives. They're coming. We don't know much. We know that there is an armor. There is uh, some exclusive armor. I believe. Actually, I, I don't know too much about the exclusives. A bit of it that I saw. I did see that uh, the page of it was armor. So I'm expecting armor, and then maybe, maybe it'll be a new uh, uh, PS4 exclusive strike. I don't know when uh, those of us who actually. Uh, Are we, I don't know if um, if we're gonna get the, the uh, Lake of Shadows uh, strike. Like, I mean, that'd be pretty awesome when we land again. It's just a strike, but I mean, adding another strike to the playlist definitely uh, would definitely make things much better. And this guy really sucks. Man. How? How did you not kill me, good sir? Uh, let's see what else. Uh, the, the Hive Extermination Protocol. Uh, basically, just remind it is that Rasputin is trying to lure Hive into the area for you to kill. So that you do not threaten our existence. Good. No, 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 you're bad, you're bad, you're bad, get out. Normies, get out. But, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Uh, we do have the ranked crucible, which I'm actually really looking forward to. Uh, we have some exclusive rewards, including the, uh, 
the uh, like super elite reward, which is actually a. Damn, dude, feels pretty bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have um, two rankings. We have I forgot what it's called. Uh, one of them is just based on uh, how many games you play. Uh, every game you play, it, you gain more standing. And another one is uh, based on is based on whether you win or lose the game and how well you perform. So that's definitely going to play a pretty important factor. Uh, and trying to keep, get players some top two weapons because the weapons, you know, one of the wep uh, weapons does have a new perk, and I forgot what it's called. I'm just trying to look for some immigration. Not immer, immer, immigration. Information roundup. Excuse me. Alright. Now the, I believe the uh, best reward you can get uh, in the rank system, because you get rewards, you can reset your standing to uh, get certain weapons, because some weapons you it will require you to uh, reset your ranking a certain amount of time. Um, some of them you'll have to complete a certain task, like uh, headshot kills. Uh, so stuff among those lines. I did need that correct. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> um. But one of the weapons is actually pretty good. We've seen some gameplay of it. It performs pretty well. The stability. Uh, from what I can remember, the stability is pretty good. Uh, impact is good. But I believe. But the perk, I forgot what it's called. But I do know uh, what it does. When you get a kill, when you get a headshot kill, and you reload, uh, or. Uh, when Outlaw is activated, because it does have Outlaw on it, um, the weapon fires faster, but it's still will be that three burst uh, kill, a three burst to that, and, and it'll basically kill. It'll do the same amount of damage, but it'll kill a lot faster because what happens uh, with a lot of perks that speed up fire rate is that it drops the damage, so you get increased uh, RPM. Um, but I. Uh, decreased amount of <clears throat> but a decreased amount of damage so you're sacrificing one thing for something else <clears throat> uh, but we haven't gotten any details of new strikes how many strikes returning what the strikes will uh, be like um, we have not gotten any, gotten any information on the red layer or any teaser just on the red layer because in Curse of Cyrus we did get a teaser on the red layer but it was just no uh, the door opening up, where basically we'll be going into. <clears throat> a lot of people um, are already speculating, and some people have even made some fan art. Uh, or, I'm sorry, what I mean to say is they've already leaked, I put that in quotation marks, uh, the next artwork for the next DLC, which ironically is called The Taken Queen, because this next DLC be the Comet DLC. Now, you don't know, Destiny 1, uh, in the, you know, we have now kind of the roadmap, uh, the third DLC was, uh, uh, it was quoted the Comet DLC. Now, when it was released, it was the Taken King, and boy, was it massive. Everything changed, the biggest change in Destiny history. And that's what we're going to be getting for our third DLC. Now, Destroy them with your life. if theory, you know, it, if it goes along in order with um, the theories that have been happening, and by the way, this will be taking, uh, the Warmind DLC will be taking place on Mars. Uh, already confirmed. Uh, and, I mean, it's on the ice caps of Mars, which have actually unthawed, so it basically looks like Mars, but it is not, it's a whole new area. It's not the area we went to, Destiny 1. 
and boy, am I glad to see that. But anyways, if we go in this order, um, I mean, actually, Destiny 1 kind of makes sense at this hive, because, I mean, it was Vex in Destiny 1, and that's what Christmas Harris was. Then it was the hive. And I'm not saying it's going to follow the same pattern, I'm just saying, like, it, it kind of makes sense that it would follow the same pattern. Uh, actually, it doesn't really make sense, but it just seems, it just, it just... Oh, you know, it's gonna be the war mines, but it's also gonna the hive are gonna play a pretty important role in this. And wow, I feels pretty bad, man. But the hive will be playing an uh, important role in this. Maybe not the most important role, but they will be playing a role uh, in the war mines DLC. Uh, but that means after this would be the Taken, or maybe the or the Fallen, and as the one it was the House of Wolves after the hive. But we know it's gonna be somewhere on the Dreadnought, assuming that, you know, they go with the ending DLC cutscene, where I went to... And this is just my theory, I believe we're going to be going to Dreadnought because, well, uh, the very last mission, I have not used my super. Uh, sorry, I but at the end of the... when you kill Gaul, it shows the cutscene. Shows the Jesus. It shows the cutscene or the travel. The travelers light spread ship. Okay, the travelers light spread to the galaxy first. It hits the triangle ships, which no nope, triangle ships are last. So that might be the last thing we see in Destiny Two. Uh, oh, okay. Whew. But, um, so it went to Mercury, which is where Christmas Harris took place. It's going to Mars, which, which is no, now 100% for certain where the next to see what they place, and I killed myself. Feels pretty bad. <clears throat> Where we know, uh, Mars, where we know the war might see would take place. And that's just the Dreadnought. Or Saturn. Well, we can't go on Saturn because Saturn is. You can't walk on gas. Okay, maybe you can you can walk on its moon. On Saturn. At least that's what I think. I mean, it might be a little, might be a little weak and, uh, service being contacted. Please don't take me from the game. I would be ever so sad, dude. Uh, but then after that, it was a triangle ship, so possibly we're gonna deal with the triangle ships right after we finish. Um, uh, after we go on the, after we go on the dreadnought. Of course, that's just my theory. Uh, that's what it showed out. I don't know. I think Bungie, uh, they should take uh, things one step at a time, and that's what they're doing with this Pokemon DLC. Crystal Sorrows is kind of just quickly throw it together. And put it out there without, you know, really any, without really talk, seeing what we wanted as a community. And, you know, I think that they realized their mistake. That's why they had the, uh, the summit. And I'm really waiting. It sucks because they know a lot of things that, that they, uh, the people went to the summit, which people like Dado and Gathalion and a couple other people, they, they can't talk about this. Um, they, they actually have a document, or I think we're console too, but they have a document, and they can't, they cannot talk, they cannot talk about what they, they can't talk about everything they saw. Uh, and if you didn't know, the summit event, in case you've, you know, been in the dark, or you've been living in a rock, the summit event was people, uh, community members of Destiny, who are highly, highly sought at, or were popular, they're known, they're not just random people that they picked, they, Bungie flew them out, and they talked about what they wanted, you know, they gave, they, they gave them, uh, they sat them down with some, uh, hive excavation protocol. It was extermination protocol. But they sat down with the new hive event, which is like a public event, that you must complete the campaign to, to actually, to start it, to start it up. In the hive excavation protocol, 
uh, if you have not completed the campaign, which we don't know how long the campaign is going to be. Hopefully it's longer than Christmas Terrorist, because Christmas Terrorist was pretty short. I think two missions were the strikes, and the rest of it was just hunting down Panoptes. And it didn't really have a super cool story element to it, it was kind of bland. Uh, Once I go to orbit, I will, I will actually uh, check out a lot more, more frequently. Ba boom. How did you just walk through that? Thank. <clears throat> but anyways, they basically shut these people down and. They gave them the gameplay, asked them what they would like to see change, what they liked, what they didn't like, what they wanted to see change. And there was actually one, they, they actually uh, made the excavation protocol a lot harder. I know that, uh, I said that as soon as, in the last room, I said that as soon as the event finished, they went and changed something. So something has, something pretty big must have been changed if they went to change it immediately. Something they knew that they did, could not let slip up, that they could not let, you know, get past them. They wanted to see, because it was just, it was that big of a deal. What it was, we don't know. Uh, the person suggested, we don't know that it was. So, we won't notice it, of course, because we haven't gotten our hands on it yet. But, let's see, what else is there? I'm trying to think. There's a lot of stuff. Let's go to the tower quickly, and then we'll actually start talking. So I'm actually gonna take my hut off. <clears throat> but we have some weapons that look just like the sleeper simulant, which I. I Really hope the sleep, sleep the sleeper simulator does return. A lot of people, actually, you know, people who have been saying they don't want to see all the exotic exotics return, might disagree with this because the sleeper simulator was super good for DPS uh, and Destiny One against bosses, especially bosses like Oryx and uh, Vosik. I know. Uh, Vosik for Vosik, uh, the Wrath of the Machine. He was one of the. The Super Simulant was, was one of the only reasons you could actually two-man it. Because the um, the monitors were just destroyed by Super Simulant. And the Super Simulant does so much damage. But they also have... We also have some weapons that are basically Super Simulant or Warmind-based uh, weapons. So we have a shotgun that we have seen. And it's full auto. At least it looks full auto unless he's pulling... The, unless whoever was using it is pulling triggers super fast. Um... So there's a sniper, and then there's one other weapon that I do not know. Now, one of the big questions right now is, well, why would I want to go do the uh, excavation protocol? First off, you get exclusive weapons, exclusive rewards that you can only get from that, uh, from uh, you know, uh, that event. <clears throat> and then the, the the excavation protocol again is an end game event. You can only uh, start it. You can only do it. Uh, if you can be in the campaign, but you can still participate, so you can't actually start the event, um, but you can participate in the event, even if you have not completed the campaign. Pretty confusing, uh, hopefully you guys understand what that means. If you don't, uh, I can try to explain in better detail, uh, personally to you, just put a comment down in the comment section what it means. Because, I mean, this is, this is some pretty interesting stuff, and I think this is, this is, we're head, Bungie's heading in the right direction. Not only are they actually listening to uh, uh, to us as a, as a community as a whole, but I mean, they've really... You, I, they, I can see that they've put a lot of love into this. They've put, they put a lot of love into this. And I, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm hyped for it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm hyped. And I really, I think this is the turning point. I think, you know, this is gonna stop the Jurassic downfall. Let me chest play it. Into the crucible. Show me your strength. Why? That's not computing. Yeah. Yep. 
<clears throat> uh, other changes as soon as uh, season three starts, or uh, first off, uh, the, the season three slash War Minds uh, DLC release date comes out March eighth. Nope. No, oh, yep, March 8th. March 8th is when the DLC comes out and Season 3 begins. Uh, beginning of Season 3, all the Season 2 emblems, or uh, not emblems, sorry, uh, ornaments, such as the Phoenix Strife emblem, which I have right, or ornament, which I have right now, uh, this is exclusive to Season 2. You will no longer be able to get this, I, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what Bungie said. Uh, ornaments for the factions, that will definitely uh, be gone. There will be new it ones in season either. three. So at the beginning of the at the beginning of the season three, there will be a uh, Shax will have a uh, package for everyone, and it will consist of two emblems, uh, one that will show. Tell your clanmates I said hi. Are you judging me for selling out and moving oh. back to the city? Anyways, uh, one of the, one of the, um, one of them will show, you know, your ranking, your live ranking, so whatever rank you are at the moment will be, uh, will be what it shows on the side of the, uh, card. Remember the emblem? Gosh. Um, let's see, let's see. I just need a chest plate for this character, and I don't want to run through the raid just to get one chest plate. That's of all, and then we got Cade, so we have two chances. But if you want, you can sell your tokens, that's what I'm doing right now, because uh, as soon as season 3 drops, I'm going to spend all my tokens. Do so you guys want to get grind? You can. I don't recommend grinding exotics because. Dude, come on. I don't think that, um, that even if, you know, you go ahead and get exotics and you open them the first day of Curse of Cyrus, or not Curse of Cyrus, you open them the first day the DLC drops, I don't think you're actually going to get the, um, I don't think you have a chance of getting the new exotics. I'm not sure if that was the way it was for Curse of Cyrus. I'm pretty sure it was. So I wouldn't sit and grind for exotics and then have them just turn out to be exotics that you've already got or that you can get again. I know I just said I was going to save tokens, but, oh well. <clears throat> but something, okay. I'm trying to think of a couple details. You know, Gunsmith, I can always just screw it. But let's see what else is there. Um, and I don't, uh, no one's asked this, but I just want to quickly go over why I am, why I personally am excited for the War My DLC. First off, it's a DLC, it's got new content, and honestly, at this point, we need some new content. I mean, come on. I mean, when, hey, when, 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 when does a game never not need content? Like, seriously. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, I'm looking forward to, you know... If Siva comes back, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the lore of it because I do want to get back into lore. Uh, to making to make to I want to get into making lore videos. I made a couple of them uh, that were kind of just dinky and stupid. Um, if I don't get the chest plate from Cade, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna cry. He's not gonna give me the chest plate, no. So <clears throat> out of the weapon buffs, two of the Katie, you are a loser. <clears throat> Anyways, but um, the weapon buffs. Grabbing a lance and scabbard his oath. That's what they should have been in the beginning, but they are now. They are overpowered. Uh, their grabbing and lance is just just melts in PvP and PvE. But that's gonna definitely be one of my go-to exotics now. Skyrim's Oath, I uh, was not a big fan of. I liked it. I used it in the first day the uh, Leviathan came out, but then uh, Cold Art was just a way better option. And you know, I just managed to have used 
since it just wasn't really worth the exotic slot. First off, when I can use something like Names to Midnight, something else. I'm just going to do some bubble comments, and I'll continue to support the video, drop a like if you have liked the video. If you have not liked the little video, or if there's something I missed, put so down in the comments, and I will see if I can edit in off some more information. Because I'm not that lazy where I'll, I'll like smash two videos together. Uh, and then, you know... Of course, I'll give you a shout out if you do. And actually, I need to go to the forge. No. But I think this is again. I th again, I think this is the turning point. Destiny two. Though. This is going to bring people back, like eighty percent of people back. But depending on how well this is executed, if the uh, the hive execution. I have, uh, evacuate, or, uh, or evacu execution or execution protocol, uh, you know, uh, actually I want to go into that a little more. Every week, uh, there will, there's five waves, and every week there is, five or four waves, I forgot. Every week there will be that, there will be a, there's a boss, uh, for the fifth wave, and a boss will drop exclusive loot, and that, uh, the bow, the bow staff, uh, the staff thing that we saw, uh, you can you get tokens that you can spend. Um, can spend those tokens to pick up the weapon. Uh, basically, you have I think you have like 20 seconds with it, and basically it's just go ahead and clear those ads out. It's it's short, but it it, it has the war mine technology, and you can see that 100%. There's five rotating bosses, so each week there'll be a new boss with mechanics. And they actually said, and I quote, mechanics. So it's not just a boss that you go up, get punch, and you shoot at. It's not, okay, in the high protocol, it's not just any shooting kind of it's pretty. It starts out pretty easy, but then it gets pretty difficult, uh, according to what it was. I don't know if it was Cosmo. No, Cosmo was part of the Crystal section uh, portion, along with Kevin. Uh, and the people that did play the, uh, they were there for the, they were there, for, you know, for the event at Bungie, uh, they actually said that the, the map, they played that on the map, they said it's not super big, but it's still a lot bigger, it's definitely a lot bigger than Mercury. There's a lot more things to do, and, you know, I think that's, Mercury's small, there's only one public event. And I think that's kind of, kind of what, kind of what made Mercury suck. That, you know, especially when it's the. Uh, especially when it's the um, the flashpoint. It really sucks because you gotta wait, wait forever. Just because it's only one public event. That one public event, really, it's like three seconds. It's like three minutes, and it takes so long. I mean, I don't know what public events is going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be the same uh, public events we've seen. I think this is the only really real public event. Even though it's not a public event, I think it's really the only public event sort of thing we've seen. It's like a public event. Uh, and speaking of which, you can trigger the uh, excavation. Execution protocol or excavation protocol at any given time. Uh, but again, to actually begin it, you have to go ahead and complete the uh, campaign. 
Uh, there are two new maps that have been uh, released. One of them is still being worked on and just being finalized. Uh, the other is in the cross. The other one has been played on. And it's under the ice caps of Mars, I believe, or in a, in a cavern or something. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of. I don't really care about Christmas maps. I just care about gameplay. Or I just. No, I just care about. The, okay, the Christmas maps do, definitely make things more interesting. But I you know, definitely care about the weapon and you know, what's good and what's the meta at the time and whatnot. I'm scared. I really don't want to die. That suck. Hey, big boy. You're out of here. Be gone. Thought. Thought. You're a thought. You're all thoughts. This is why I, I uh, did the poke events because they got a solo on. Oh, please tell me that's over. Dude, it's 100%. Well, we damaged it. We broke it, so. Okay. Now give me an exotic for all that hard work, dude. Count on you to make my day. You know, we might as well do the. Why the heck not? You know, I might go and do the raid after this because I need that loot, dude. I need oh, nightfall. What is the Nightfall this week? Nightfall this week, by the way, guys, is the Garden World. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, this could be toxic. <clears throat> but, hey, speaking of Curse of Cyrus, let's go to uh, Mercury. You know, the whole... Let's just look at the size of the map here. We have not seen the Mars map. Uh, but, I mean, it looks pretty big, but it's actually, like, super small. Guess what? The gateway is... The gateway is... Uh, yeah, because here's where the event is. This is just zoomed in. That's why it's so big. But I mean, like, like this. Nope, this is the, uh... This is the Pokemon area. This is just... I don't even know what that is. Like, well, you can't even go that way. Okay, well... It's not to, to Duke Boy Osara, or, uh, Buttervance. But Anna Bray... Uh, actually, will be the vendor, or I whatever you want to call it. Go with the master's blessing. Just made one of these. Cool, cool, cool. cool. I'm really Does hoping this is. Oh, I actually don't know what this one is. Is this the last one I need, or do I need? I need, I think I need like two more. Oh, I need one more. Well, I get to gear show. Don't be that. Don't be something bad. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're done. What the heck? Oh, okay, I knew I needed the post rifle. Let's go slap this on you. Uh, if it paths, I don't know how good it is. I will do it and test on it. That doesn't matter though. You guys are here. Oh, not not for, not for the Christmas search weapons. What's a cool what's a cool glow shell I can put on here? Uh I'll actually take that. I'm only sure it, I, I swear I've forgotten something. Okay, that actually looks cool. Cool. So I think we're done with the prophecies. Hello. Yep.
Hold the light in your the I didn't even know you could get the uh, prophecy guns from uh, this, so. I know it doesn't show up, but you can get the prophecy weapons. Again, it doesn't really matter. So it, it, it keeps it all segregated. Eh, I don't know. I'll test it out. Okay, well, I wouldn't... This, the detection rate on this thing is massive. Unless, uh... So many chests. I'll take the tokens. No, there's just over there. Oh, we got a uh, uh, got a big boy over here. Boom, boom! What the heck? I got I got that was one of these uh, skip boys. Uh, Sierra Shell is actually pretty overpowered. Uh, not sure on Mercury. I mean, that makes sense. It's a ghost shell, but I mean... It's a cool ghost shell. It's well, I mean, it's... Cool design. But anyways, uh, Crystal Service uh, news, or, uh, War my News, I think that's pretty much it. Pretty much sums it up. Again, more information will be coming out. I don't know how many streams there are. Uh, they probably said it, but I haven't listened. So if you guys like to stick around, uh, that's about it. Uh, we'll be doing, I will be doing, uh, video gameplay. I will continue to do gameplay. That's what I mean. Actually, I want to get this chest. Simulation seed, simulation seed. Chest is right over there. Let's go get it. So if you guys, uh, did enjoy the Warm Mind News, uh, you guys can definitely leave a like if you want. Again, if there's something, if you did not like the video, leave a dislike. Uh, I'm definitely, I'm open to constructive criticism. Uh, and I, again, uh, I'm the XL Gamer. See you next time. For those of you who are sticking around, well, uh, welcome, hello. And, uh, well, honestly, I'm probably going to end the stream soon. Uh, actually, I'm going to end the stream soon. Enjoy, make a function, and I'll see you guys